Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Catherine Grace. I'm the Director of Space for the Government of South Australia at our South Australian Space Industry Centre. It's a great organization funded by state government that's actually an economic development agency focused on ensuring South Australia has a thriving, enduring, surviving space ecosystem. Hopefully, as you can see beside, behind me, Australia has a great presence, and South Australia really is part of that Team Australia approach. But we're definitely a key leader in a lot of areas, whether it's our industry, our academia, or even some of the great partnerships we're doing internationally. Uh, one of our great leadership positions and points of difference is in Earth observation. And actually, what people might find interesting is that we're going to be the first state in the whole nation to launch a state-owned satellite, Kenyini. It's going to have a dual payload, a hyperspectral camera where we'll share data with ESA, and an IoT payload. It's South Australian-based. We've got the SmartSat Cooperative Research Center, which is headquartered, of course, in South Australia, right next to the Space Agency. And the Kenyini will also have two South Australian companies on board, Miriota and Innovore. As a state, we've got a lot of great things coming up. One that I will flag is on May 9th this year, so just a couple of weeks away, we've got the Space Forum in Adelaide. Huge international event. We'll have people from JAXA speaking, different space agencies around the world. For those who have known, we had NASA Administrator Bill Nelson and Colonel Pal Melroy with us. It was fantastic just earlier this year. And coming up, there's some great things, including Canini. We've had a rover challenge already. The first and only in us. Well, it's not the first. We're the home of it in Australia, which is pretty exciting. And for those who've tuned in, we've had some great announceables here at the forum. So organizations like Fleet and ELA, big contracts and really big things out of SA. It's been an absolute whirlwind of good good connections, good announcements, and really highlighting why SA is different, why we're the place for space, but more importantly, why space matters. We've heard some great conversation of never a day without space. So we need space technology to enable us to live, to thrive. And particularly on that point, and NASA is a partnership, I'll mention the Plants for Space ARC, which is based out of Adelaide. Now this fantastic $90, uh, $90 million initiative is headquartered at the Way Institute at the University of Adelaide. Now, not only does this have international partnership and is focused on really cool plants for space and long-term human hab habitation in space, like Moon to Mars, like Artemis, the Artemis missions, but also it's going to enable real sustainability and better life here on Earth with things like closed environment agriculture, somewhere else that South Australia really does lead. Earth observations, our, um, agriculture, mining, education. We've got three world-class universities, but hey, all of this international collaboration can only happen at a place like Colorado Springs or at our Space Forum back in Adelaide.